this video is a short video about how to see and feel if you have any resistance towards love and an easy way how to check at what frequency you are. Um, I recently came or made a very nice discovery um, and my intuition told me to do certain things and so I discovered something which I really love to share with you. So basically I've seen quite a few people in the last time that kind of were struggling with allowing love to happen, to unfold and I also figured out a way how to give kind of a self-check for everybody to, to kind of find the vibrational stage in which they are um, even for people who are not so connected to all the deep hidden emotions so basically you want to have or get something which is very high vibratory let it be rose leaves um, rose essential oil but it's kind of expensive and rare to find or just a, a rose wood mala will also do or just a person who holds or is able to hold a very high vibration and you want to hold it for example with this rosewood mala in your hand and um, feel how it feels and if it starts to feel uncomfortable or make you nervous this means that you have a resistance towards that frequency um, and the frequency of rosewood is around 300 megahertz we say for example that cats have a healing well, way, way of healing people or um, healing vibration and cats re resonate about around 80 megahertz more or less and um, when rosewood for example does not feel warm and loving but more like um, a little bit tingling and discomfortable that means that most in most cases there are always exceptions you are having a little resistance towards allowing love to unfold and to happen and by only realizing that you already release so much resistance that it makes it way easier so this is a very easy way to check if you are resistant toward love or not the other one which also greatly helps is rose tea when you're having shortly after drinking rose tea some kind of bubble up emotional bubble ups or just some nightmares it means that some darker frequencies have been just brought to the surface so it works with many many objects basically everything has a frequency and um, depending on which direction you want to go towards so you can easily um, google the frequency of the objects you are around and um, find out how they feel how they make you feel and why that could probably be so this is basically just a, a little one-on-one -on -one how to check in with your frequency. Every color also has a different frequency. For example, when you're wearing a shirt or sleeping in um, blankets or sheets of different colors, this always influences your chakras. The more open your chakras are in general, the more sensitive you are. And the more those kind of things tend to influence you. And the more you kind of close down your chakras or protect them from external energies and the slower you let them spin or the faster you let them spin depending on which frequency range you are you become less sensitive to that one and this is also a great way how to protect yourself against let's say energies you probably don't want to feel so much in that moment in the subway or somewhere else so basically white is quite a neutral color so when you are very comfortable wearing a black shirt this means that probably your chakras don't turn that fast in that moment that you're more in a shadow-like vibration there are always exceptions of course for example uh, I personally can no longer wear rainbow shirts even if I really love them because after a half an hour to an hour they tend to make me feel really weird because they kind of mess with my chakras so I'm going to make another video on that one um, rosewood malas are not so expensive they're around ten dollars on Amazon in crystal shops you find them about like 15 to 20 dollars so those are also very nice gadgets you can just <laughs> make them like a bracelet around your hand or something and yeah I would suggest to try to wear blue teal or white and just see how it makes you feel and also illuminate certain foods and eat and drink some high 
frequency barriers as for example wheatgrass has one of the very highest frequencies very close to sunlight on the, there are also some frequency pyramids um, on the internet just google frequency food pyramid and in terms of megahertz certain foods are listed very high or not and if I remember well wheatgrass is very high spirulina and um, fruits too but um, just google for more detail and experiment with that one because we also have like a physical body and there's also a physical component of course thought is extremely powerful and love is extremely powerful and from your heart chakra and your heart area and your heart yourself your entire chest you can equalize your entire system but this is just a kind of a side factor like for example when you're driving your car and something does not turn like it should turn or you just kind of I don't know try to drive your bike with the brakes on <laughs> something like that you know of course when you're trained you can drive a good good moment and a good distance but still you know when things turn like they, they're supposed to turn and things get way easier and food also like greatly helps with that so um, pay attention to all those things change them and see how you feel and um, also just practice awareness with um, those kind of things okay <laughs> I wish you a very beautiful time See you soon.